Two right-wing favorites are skimming out on their party's big pep rally this February, otherwise known as Conservative Political Action Conference. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint are both keeping their distance. Governor Christie's spokesperson refused to explain, saying, quote, the governor receives hundreds of speaking and appearance invitations every month, many of which are declined for a number of reasons, I'm sure. Senator DeMint's spokesman uh, referenced other conservative groups uh, also dropping out, saying, quote, with leading conservative organizations not participating this year, Senator DeMint will not be attending. He hopes to attend a unified CPAC next year. What Senator DeMint fails to mention is those conservative organizations he's talking about are boycotting CPAC because Go Proud, a gay Republican group, is going to be there. DeMint is joining up with the anti-gay posse. By pulling out a CPAC, Jim DeMint has firmly aligned himself with groups like these. The Family Research Council, Concerned Women for America, the Heritage Foundation, and the American Family Association. They have all sent a clear signal that they literally can't stand to be in the same room as gay people. Joining me now is Christopher Barron, co-founder and chairman of GoProud. Chris, last time you were on, uh, I told you that uh, they didn't like you. And guess what happened? All these huge organizations and senators and governors have now pulled out because they don't like you. Uh, so uh, uh, are you still thinking that you're in the right room? No, because you're still absolutely wrong. I mean, one, do you honestly believe that Chris Christie pulled out of, C or didn't participate in CPAC because of GoPro? I assume that he also then turned down the opportunity to respond to President Obama's State of the Union because of GoPro? Secondly, the organizations that you just mentioned weren't participating in CPAC the last time I was on. So absolutely nothing here has changed. The fact is, this is going to be the biggest CPAC <laughs> ever, and we are absolutely thrilled that we're going to be participating. So, Chris, uh, you, know, you know, I'll give you Chris Christie, because I don't know what his real motivations are. The guy can go to Disneyland at any given time, right? But Jim DeMint was on the schedule, and then he said, I'm not going to be on the schedule, because basically uh, these uh, groups are not going. And Jim DeMint had excuse for... Uh, go, uh, go ahead. Uh, tell me no. about Demet. You're telling me that it, it doesn't have to do with you being there. You oh, can't absolutely. possibly yes. believe. No, look, I, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. Jim Demet has made it clear, okay. you know, that he's not participating in CPAC because of GoProud. And look, if he wants to align himself with the, you know, island of political misfit toys, you know, the Joseph Farah, the Birther Kings of the world, then that's fine. You know, there's an old saying in poker, you know, winners tell jokes, losers say deal. That's what's happening here. The winners in the conservative movement, the folks whose message is resonating are participating in CPAC. And the losers, the folks whose message is stale, that isn't resonating with the American public, are the people who are complaining about it. But Chris, Jim DeMint is like the biggest folk hero to the right wing and to the Tea Party guys. You, are you saying that, that he's lost within the Republican Party? What I'm telling you is that the folks who are organizing this boycott are the folks whose message is not resonating with the American people. The American people, the Tea Party movement that, that brought the energy and enthusiasm to this movement was focused on the size of government, on fiscal issues, on spending. And they didn't care about the gay issues. And the fact is, is there's a small fringe element of the conservative movement that is anti-gay for pay and those people's message is not resonating and the fact that they would you know pull out and organize this boycott which I'm not sure how successful a boycott is if you end up having the biggest CPAC ever that tells me it's a pretty you know you know unsuccessful boycott but it speaks volumes about how little message how little power their message actually has if they're afraid to be in the same room with us if they're afraid to be in the same room with people who disagree with them then you know that speaks volumes about you know the lack of faith they have in their own beliefs and let me be clear about something there are going to be plenty of speakers speaking at CPAC and plenty of other organizations there who have positions that are much further to the left than GoProud's GoProud is a very conservative organization so for the folks who are pulling out about this, this, pulling out over this, it's for one reason only. It's because we happen to be gay. That's it. There's no policy differences really here. But you see, Chris, that's the critical part, right? Because some of these groups uh, that you're dismissing and saying that they lost are huge groups within uh, the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Heritage Foundation is gigantic, et cetera. Jim DeMint, as I said, is probably the Tea Party senator in the Senate. Uh, if you and these people are exactly as you said, are not coming for one specific reason. Last time you were on here defending conservatives to the hilt, you're defending conservatives to the hilt now, and yet they still don't like you 
it's obviously because of your identity. Why be in a in a group of people where a, a very large chunk of them says, "I can't stand you"? Based First on off, who it's you not are. a very it's not a very large chunk. Look, I kn- I know that you hate the fact that there are gay conservatives. I know you can't stand the fact that there is a group of people who have wandered off the liberal plantation that don't play your victim identity <laughs> politics. But absurd. That's completely not absurd. The fact is, the last <laughs> time I was on, you're talking about how. How can you be a gay Republican? How can you be a part of a party that hates you? I'm part of a movement that's offering real solutions to gay people. Something that the left has absolutely failed to do in this country is offer real solutions that would improve the lives of gay people in this country. That's why I'm a conservative, because we're offering those solutions, because we're not, we're not playing the victim card here. Uh, Chris, I mean, look, we've gone through this the last time. I, I, I'm not saying that you yeah. can't have conservative opinions on the economy or foreign policy. I said it last time, I'll say it again. Of course you can. That has nothing to do with being gay or straight. But when you're talking about supporting a party that ran the 2004 election against you, the 2006 election against you, that has get voted against your identity nearly every single time, including just recently in Don't Ask, Don't Tell repeal. Well, it doesn't make sense to be part of that party. You sure. could be a conservative Democrat. You could be a conservative outside the party. And support, but this party, should, I, I, should, I mean, I keep I, saying it because it's true. They don't no, like I you, should support Chris. A, I, I should support a party that again. supports... Look, I should support a party that supports policies that would be bad for gay families. The Democratic Party you know, won't support personal savings accounts and Social Security, won't support repeal of the death tax, won't support you know, things like the fair tax that would b- put gay couples on the same footing as straight couples in this country. The fact is, is the Democratic Party supports policies that are bad for gay people. Why the heck should I support I'm the Democratic you, Party? No, 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 Chris, Chris. I don't Look, need a group I, I hug. You. I want policies that will improve the lives of gay <laughs> people. I'm not interested it's in the group hug. It's not a matter of a group hug. It's, look, it's not a matter of the group hug. And I'll, and I'll have to leave it here because, look, Chris, I disagree with you on all those policies. I'm not saying you have to be a Democrat. I'm not saying you have to support those policies. That's crazy talk. What I'm telling you is that the Republican Party, it's, it's not just they don't want to hug you. It's that they vote against your rights. And it's not, a, it's not a simple matter of emotions or anything like that. They're denying your group of people, based on identity, rights that every other citizen has. So, I, if you know, obviously we disagree on it. They don't want to be in the same You're right, room because as you. I believe that if I was you, I, I wouldn't that. want to be in the same room as them. I will look. I I, I, I so. feel bad for people. I feel bad for gay people who put their faith in the Democratic Party because at every turn, liberals in the Democratic Party have betrayed gay people. That's the bottom line. No, they just had. No, no they, they yeah, just repealed. Don't ask, don't tell. I mean, in between the Democrats and the Republicans, you know, it's it's no contest. You, you that's no. I know. You know you're, right? you're you're right. You're right. I know it's no contest. I know that the Democrats support liberal policies that are absolutely terrible for gay people, terrible for gay families. <laughs> okay, that's what right. I know. You can laugh <laughs> all, all right. you want. It doesn't change reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly true. Go look up the rights. Uh, go look up the votes on gay rights. That's a harsh reality. You could never get past. Yeah, that, but Chris, you look up the always appreciate your opinion and <laughs> your take. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, all right.